Hello everybody and welcome to this little tutorial video on how to join my dedicated server for FS17. So you will find all the relative links down below in the description for things like the mod link uh, download page where you'll be able to download all of the um, mods in one go as one zip file and then you all you have to do is unzip that file into your mods folder or you can click on the other link below it which will let you individually choose which mods you would like to download if you've already got some of the mods that we're running on the server so to connect to the server is fairly simple now when you're in the game you're in your main menu like this you want to go to your multiplayer section so you click on that then when it comes up with join game create game or rent a dedicated server you want to go to join game you want to put your name in and your character and all that kind of good stuff continue and then it will bring this up now my server is in continental Europe because it's based in London so we click start and then what will happen is you'll probably get that up and we'll refresh it so you've got all of these now mine is there there is I don't know what the exclamation mark means but we'll find out later on so as you can see I will if it doesn't come up obviously you can just type in max stallion yt and then you can refresh and there it is it's the only one as you can see it's a server with eight slots now the reason I've gone for eight slots is because I didn't want to kind of make it too big to start with just to kind of judge how you guys take it if it's full all the time then I will obviously increase the slots on it um, and then that's it for now so you basically click on it so that it's green and you click on start the password which is down below in the description and it's all capital letters so it's Z G F H then it's 3 4 D right so that's the password to get onto the server so as you can see we are now loading the game so we're being told to wait patiently so we shall do that it doesn't take really long um, usually if there's people on the server then it takes a bit longer than normal to join um, but it's nothing like what it used to be in FS15 they have really outdone themselves with a the multiplayer on FS17 it's a lot more stable the connection speeds are a lot faster it's just a lot more enjoyable playing the game now right so that's loaded so then you click start mine will automatically bring up the help screen and there you guys go you are in the server now that is provided you have downloaded all the correct mods that are on the mod links page in the description below so as you guys can see we're running the dusty cove farm so yes guys I think that's about it for this little short video so I hope you have found this video like helpful um, I'm kind of just winging it off the top of my head as I'm going just thinking about things that you guys might need to know but I think that is it from now um, obviously if I do think of anything else I will link it in the description below I will also put a um, invitation link to the Max Stallion YT discord server um, there's a, there's a good few of us on there. It's a good laugh. I'm on there nearly every day, uh, every evening, providing I get home from work at a reasonable time. Because if not, I don't tend to go on because I get bombarded with loads of messages and things from people and it kind of stops me from bringing out videos, which isn't good. Um, so I'm gonna stop rambling on now. If you guys need any help, or if you think that something's not set up properly on the server please do not hesitate to get in touch with me or one of the two admin members that we have um, there is going to be an episode released every week from this server so I'll be recording an episode on the server each week to uh, upload to the to YouTube and obviously if you guys want to be in these videos the only way you can be in the videos if you actually join the server so it'd be awesome if I could uh, see everybody on the server, see it full, because if I see it full, then I will obviously upgrade the size of the server to accommodate more people. And 
one thing I am not for doing is having one server and allowing a lot of people to join that one server. I may introduce a second server and play like a different map or something like that with different mods and things like that so you guys can obviously choose which map you want to play on and what mods you want to use providing you've got all the correct mods um, and I think that's about it so thank you very much for watching this little tutorial video I hope it's helped and I hope to see you all on the server very soon thanks for watching see you all bye bye